Dust storms and sandstorms can be more than just a weather nuisance. They pose serious health risks and safety concerns for both the general public and emergency responders. Understanding the differences between a dust storm and a sandstorm and knowing how to protect yourself is essential for minimizing harm. Dust storms are made up of fine particles like soil, clay, organic matter, and pollutants. These can travel long distances, even across continents. Sandstorms contain larger, heavier sand particles that tend to stay closer to their point of origin, affecting more localized areas. These storms can cause serious health concerns, especially for children, the elderly, people with chronic illnesses, people with prolonged outdoor exposure, such as homeless, farm workers, and construction workers. Irritated lungs, worsened asthma, bronchitis, and other chronic respiratory diseases. Fine particles can enter the bloodstream, increase stroke risk, and worsen heart conditions. Particles can cause eye and skin redness, burning, infections, and rashes. Long-term effects may include silicosis and pulmonary fibrosis. Limit outside exposure and keep doors and windows sealed. Use an N95 mask or equivalent and goggles to shield your lungs and eyes. This is especially important for people with heart or lung conditions. If visibility drops, pull over fully off the road, turn off your lights, stay in your vehicle and apply the emergency brake. Dust and sandstorms increase the pressure on emergency responders with low visibility. Makes rescues and responses more dangerous and time consuming. Respiratory issues, accidents, and injuries spike. Flying debris, blocked roads, and infrastructure damage pose risks to EMS crews. You can't stop a dust storm, but you can prepare for it. Stay informed, protect your health, and plan ahead to help reduce serious risks and support community resilience.